Good morning. How are you this morning? Hey, a lot of people are asking us about coughing, sneezing. Where did you cough and sneeze? Everybody was taught growing up, you cough in your hands. Not. That's not the case anymore because what happens, they become germ weapons. Look at these things. They look clean, but they're horribly dirty, filthy. I just can't see and tell. I don't have special glasses to do that. I have glasses to read, but they don't magnify these organisms, which are about anywhere from two to five microns, tiny. Who has eyes like that? Only a few of us, but they won't mention that to us. So what we want to talk about today is respiratory etiquette. And you'll say, what the heck is respiratory etiquette? It's being aware of where you cough or sneeze. For instance, if you have a tissue available, you grab a tissue. If you uh, have a, uh, what they used to call them were handkerchiefs, right? You kept them in your pocket, you cough and sneeze in it all the time. You put it back in, you kind of go, ooh, gosh, that's all gooey. We don't want that all over my hands. Throw an elbow. Now, that not means like this, but it means <coughs> sneeze, cough. And then people say, but doc, I'm gonna have a dirty sleeve. And I say, you see somebody with a dirty sleeve shake their hand because their hands are relatively clean and they're less likely to contaminate you with some organism that you have no idea. An organism is a germ. They can be viruses, bacteria, funguses, all kinds of things that are on all surfaces that you may pick up. So remember, when you have to cough or sneeze, use an elbow if you need to, the back of your arm, anything but a bare hand because very few people are rushing to the bathroom without cross-contaminating doorknobs, handles, sink faucets to wash their hands appropriately. So it's all, it's called respiratory etiquette. So when you go home tonight, or talk to your work coworkers tomorrow, ask them if they're practicing respiratory etiquette, and they'll say, what are you talking about? And you can say, hey, Dr. Will told us about this, and if you need more information, you can visit henrythehand.com. We're on Facebook and Twitter. We're trying to get the word out so we spread the word, not the germs, to help all of us. So together, we can make a difference in infection prevention. So pass it on. Thanks very much.